Now guys, behind us we have got the VZN. We are actually going to be wrapping this car. So we are partnering up with Jono from Martini Motor Styling, uh, PSI Ho, for those of you guys that don't know. He is wrapping cars and I'm going to fly him out here. We're going to do the VZ, but before we do it, uh, yes, this paint, it is pretty bad. So we're going to have to wash this thing, Bowden's clay bar, we got some lubricant here for it, and I bought a buffer. So look, normally I would be going to Max, uh, the bloke who did my F6, he's really good. But um, I did just buy too many things, and I figured I better do it myself. So I've got the car polisher, I've got the stuff we need. We're gonna wash this thing, and uh, hopefully we might even see this vinyl wrap today. It's, it is meant to be arriving today, but let's get in and wash this thing. Now it was at this point where I just got the pressure washer out and started washing all the general dirt off the VZ. And trust me, there was a lot of dirt on this thing, so it hasn't been washed in a while. Uh, just drying the whole car off because you just want a clean, ready surface that's dry in the shade, preferably, to go over it with the clay bar. So once the ute was dry, yeah, look at the dirt that came off. Unbelievable. So we got the clay bar out now, and as you can see, we did just go over the entire car here. And this was a process, let, let me mind you. And uh, yeah, it takes hours to do this properly, really. Um, I was here for the better part of a day, and then we did get a bit of a special delivery. Yeah, heavy, right? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm good, man. You just chuck it on the ground. And Probably a busy day, eh? Yeah, I'm prepping yeah. it. It's for this thing, so. Oh, okay. <laughs> what color? It's candy red. Oh, alright. Interesting. Yeah, it should be alright. Right. Thanks. Here we go, guys. On. Q, what'd I tell you? Vinyl frog. <laughs> Yo, that is candy, boy. That is beautiful, man. That is going to look so good. Paint work is shocking right now, but we'll make it work. Jono, Jono will make it work. Um, yeah. There you go, boys. Coming soon. That's a teaser. That's as much of a teaser as you're gonna get until this goes on. We're not far away. We are not far away. After I put the wrap away, we just started again, finishing the other side of the VZ, clay barring the entire thing, and the results, pretty epic. All right, we've gone over the whole ute, bar the front bumper, but I'm taking the front bumper off once Jono gets here, so. I could probably do that while we start prepping in that. Um, yeah, have a look at that clay bar, guys. It is ragged, man. I'm, oh, my hands were black. Like, I've gone through like four rags. And the roof, dude, it's, yeah, it's, this paint has been, it's really rough. All right, so it is a couple days later. I've hooked up the buffer now. I've got some compound Meguiar's, I think it is. And we're gonna tackle, yeah, the paint. On, it's mainly this left side that's the worst. The right side actually come up pretty good. But yeah, it's the roof and this side is pretty average. I'm gonna start with this, see how it comes out. And then if it's still really bad, I might have to sand it a bit just to really make sure it's a smooth surface we're working on when we wrap this thing. But. Let's crack into this, we'll just see what this does. Bro, look at this. 
freaking pad already, man. That was bright orange a second ago. Literally two minutes, not even one minute. Alright, so we've been getting pretty good success getting the orange peel off, taking a lot of the scratches out. Um, I'm still going to have to sand the roof, I think, but the rest of the car should be alright. Um, so the bonnet is, I think, going to be a pretty dramatic change. So I'm just going to put a little line. I'll do half of it, and then we'll be able to see what this Meguiar's is actually doing with the buff pad. and. No training for me. Look at that, lad. <laughs> yeah. That is... It's pretty dramatic, man. That is crazy dramatic. Now, I don't know if you can see that that well on camera, but in person, it's pretty crazy. Um, obviously, this paint has never been loved. It's shocking. And even this side, it's not great, but at the end of the day, we just got to make it so it's smooth so that the wrap is gonna to stick to it nicely. So I'll finish off this side and then, yeah, just keep going. So again, just finishing the entire car, roof, sides, bonnet, rear. Um, yeah, it actually looks amazing for the front bumper and the roof, but um, yeah, really impressive stuff, this, uh, uh, this Meguiar's, I gotta say. My Oh, you don't even need to wrap this thing, Mike. Oh, coming up curler, Mike. Delicious. Go get yourself some. It's absolutely mental what it could do to this this you. The, you know, the results are here. Wild. All right, so we are continuing this journey and we did have the dent guy out. I didn't capture it, but he's taken the majority of the dents out as best he could. So unfortunately, there's still a bit of an issue down here. I mean, there was obviously some pretty heavy damage scratches here, which, you know, yeah. It, we might try and put some filler in there. It's not the end of the world but he did get the majority of the dents out on the side. The tailgate actually looks really good. And today, I gotta finish this thing because I'm sick having it in the garage. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I need a sand here. So as you guys can see, just these little rough spots. So I just need to smooth that out. So as long as it's smooth to the touch, it won't show up on the wrap. And there's just a little bit here you know, a little bit there and a little bit here. So it's actually not a huge amount. And essentially, other than that, it's just some of this flaking clear coat that I've got to get sanded. So I'm going to have to sand all around here, sand through here. Um, and it's basically just the roof too, you know? It, it, you almost could get away with it, but it is just a little bit, you know, that you can feel slight bumps on it. So. Sanding the roof and uh, basically the roof and just the side here. So, yeah, it's going to be full on, but I got the tools for it. So, yeah, a bit scary when I'm taking a sander, but look at the paint already. So, what's, you know, <laughs> I can't mess it up any more than it is. But the rest of the ute, man, it's come up really nice. So, yeah, it's all smooth. Um, the paint's actually, before it was, you know, a one, it's probably like a solid five minus the roof. 
Uh, the roof and the side, obviously, but let's get into this thing anyways, man. It's, yeah, it's, it's been in here for too long. Now, I started using, I believe, a 400 grit just sandpaper bar I had in the shoe box. Um, it seemed to be the easiest way to do it. On the buffer, it is actually a little bit difficult. Um, so I started off with this 400 grit bar. Then I did move to a 300 grit on the buffer. Um, it, it definitely helped the process with speed. Uh, I'm not a professional, do not try this at home. Uh, finally, I sort of finished off with a 2000 grit, I believe I had, and it was actually working. You know, surprisingly enough, uh, it definitely got the side of the U smooth. All right, so I think this side is pretty well done. As you can see, it's just smoothed off. I've got, there's no more flaking at the moment. It's all smooth to the touch basically here. Even on this back side as well, got all the flaking off. It's pretty smooth. Look, the Ute's never gonna be perfect, but even here, you know, you, just, you can just barely feel anything here really. Much smoother than it was. I even tried to sort of smooth these out a little bit. You know, you, you can still just vaguely feel it, but at the end of the day, there's gonna be a cover on this 90% of the time. And uh, I don't wanna take it just to metal constantly, so. We are gonna crack into the roof in a second, but I wanna try and get this out because as you can see, I think that's gonna come up. Something, yeah, express. I don't know what was in there before, but it's actually like indented the paint. So I'm just gonna shave that out and then, uh, yeah, make sure it's smooth. I don't want that coming up in the wrap. Alrighty, so we have sanded this beast. Um, look, I'm not a panel beater expert, but I gave it a crack and I'll just show you guys what I've done basically. So again, we have gone all down the side here and just kind of smoothed these little imperfections out, which to the touch now, it is quite smooth. Um, you know, you can barely feel anything there. Went down the sides, especially right here where there was a clear coat that was coming off. So I basically sanded that. I've actually buffed all this again after sanding, so just to make sure that it still feels quite smooth, which it does. The roof, we did the entire roof. As you can see, there's still sort of like remnants here. I mean, I didn't want to buff it all the way to the metal, but, or sand it, sorry, all the way to metal, but you know, it's quite smooth. You know, you can feel just a fraction of some of these things. It's a little bit rough, but I, I don't know. I was, I, was, I was on it with a sander, you know what I mean? And here we've done all this as well, where there was clear coat coming up. It's all smooth to the touch. I think the car is ready. Just possibly might need to do the roof one last time. Um, but besides the roof, I think it's ready to wrap. Um, Obviously, I'm going to give it another full wash um, and just make sure everything is off. I'll probably do that like the day before Jono gets here. Clean the whole thing again. Just make sure everything is clean and um, be ready to go. Because we do have the bumper as well, which, yeah, it's, it's definitely seen better days. As you can see, you know, there's paint flicking here. I'm probably going to have to sand this because that's just... Yeah, that's all gonna have to be sanded. Ah, uh, yes, I'm gonna have to sand this section. Hopefully that's it. But, yeah, that bumper's gonna have to come off as well, just before Jono lands. Man, <laughs> it's, uh, it's a lot of work, I tell you what, man, like, to wrap a car, and we haven't even started the wrap. Like, the wrap is inside, it's ready to go. But I have spent, like, you know, straight up, like, for almost two days on this thing. Um, again, I'm no expert. Sort of going with the flow, trial and error, but uh, it definitely is coming there. It's getting there. But, yeah, it's, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's a lot of work for those that want to do it. So now that the paint is looking a lot better for us to wrap this thing, I've got to tell you guys again, we are taking this ute, this ute, very one is going on a train 
over to Melbourne within the next couple of months. Uh, we're going to be planning a tour, essentially, once this thing's completed, from Melbourne up to Queensland. And I am super excited. So our friends at Viafo have hooked us up with another dash cam. So I actually have this exact one in my F6. And you can see from some of my footage here, it's really high quality stuff. You know, these things shoot at 4K. Uh, they give you literally everything you need in this box, even from down to the memory card. Like, it is good. So we've got a dash cam looking out front. We've got one for the interior and we've got one looking out the back. So yes, this particular model, it's the A229 Pro. And yeah, again, I've got this in my F6, it's 4K. They're easy enough to install, so let's grab the gear and chuck it in the VZU. Now, it's pretty easy to install this dash cam. You basically clean where you're gonna put it on. You put a little film over where you're gonna place it. Peel off the, the backing, stick the camera on, place it where you want it and that's it, it's done. Um, you gotta plug the wires in. This can be a little bit of a mission as uh, you can see I was struggling a little bit. You run it through the roof lining down the side, whichever way you can, depending on your car. Uh, but look at that, once you've done all three, this thing is absolutely gold and uh, definitely recommend everyone to have a dash cam like this. It really does help you out, protect you. Um, yeah, no one's gonna say you did something that you didn't when you got the evidence right here on camera. I'll tell you what, these cameras, they are actually really worth it, especially with the clown show drivers that are out there nowadays. So this will protect you. And even I captured the moment I had a piece of metal get flown into my F6. And if I hadn't have had this dash cam, I wouldn't have known what would have what actually happened. I would have just been like, why is there a big piece of metal out the front of my bumper? But um, highly rate these things, especially in today's clown world. The drivers are terrible in Australia. So this really secures yourself, helps with insurance, helps with the police report, and um, keeps you out of getting in trouble, essentially. So yes, link for them down below, guys. But it is getting late. I'm going to end this video but we're gonna kick it off again tomorrow and we're gonna do something a little bit fun, a little bit different, and we'll get a good sense of testing these cameras and I'm gonna have a bit of fun. So, till the next day. Yeah, guys, this is pretty um, hectic for these wheels. Um, should be all right as long as I go slow here, but yeah, it's <laughs> this ain't an off-road you, but it can handle the bikes in the back, so the boys are gonna get dropped off with their mother, so I thought what better way to finish this video off than uh, get some of these dirt bikes involved. This place is pretty cool too if you're in WA and you got uh, some off-road vehicles. All right, so this place is killer, man. I was out here actually the other day just scoping it out and um, Full like kind of amateur dirt bike track, like motocross track almost, some jumps, big corners. And it's a government facility. It's Pinjara motorcycle area. And um, literally just pay 850 per vehicle for one day. Um, I think it's like 50 bucks for the whole year. That's hell worth it. And for the government, I think WA is actually the only state as well that provides areas like this for off-road vehicles. Like otherwise you gotta go to a, a track or you got to go to a private land like this is just public land it's like government land and they actually set all this up which props finally they're doing something right but um let me just pay for this and um we'll get these bikes unloaded got the killer you off-roading <laughs> god damn this car looks good man after i buffed it and waxed look at that bro god damn i only brought the gopro with me but yo it looks sexy man Oh, this is killer. All right, let's go. Yeah, and now when you, you lean back into the middle, you go back in the middle. Whoa, yeah, yeah. Remember to put your foot out if you think you're going to flip. Yeah, it's good. You got bogged. It's good.
Yeah, but you can hold it a little bit, you know? You don't have to keep letting off. I know you're scared, but... Oi! Good job, Kaido! Go, Kaido, go! Yes! Sugoi man! That's how you do. Firm run. Try to do that on the other side. Right foot out. Other foot out. Foot out. Foot out. Almost. Go, go, Leon. Go, Leon. Go. They are getting there. It's hard with the training wheels actually for them to sort of gather their boots. I'm going to take them off next time we come, but they're still getting used to the throttle. Yeah, you know the trick now? Oh, Leon, you turned in too sharp. You gotta watch out for that. Keep going, to the right. To the right, go, Leon, go, go, go. Yeah, oh, yes, man, you did it. Oh, man, it is hard work. Teaching kids how to ride bikes, tell you what, man, it's full on. It's fun, though. So rewarding. All right, guys, that is a wrap for riding bikes out at the Pinjara motocross area, hey, Leon? And loaded up the bikes again. Mom should be here any minute to grab you boys. Wait, me? Why? And, you um, mom. yeah, awesome day out here, guys. Really cool. Again, might do some more content on the bike. I haven't even shown you guys mine yet. But, um, yeah, I used to be a motocross kid, so it's getting out. It's getting jumped. We're going hard. And uh, these boys are going to learn. So you're getting there. Both of you guys are getting there. You can do the track now, but you just gotta get them training wheels off. Yeah, but Leo, why can you not get them on? I'll take them off. And then you're gonna have to drive with them off. Yeah. All right, guys, that's it. Subscribe, like. Yeah, subscribe, like. We'll see you on the next one.